Welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program, folks. Today we are going to start building up for making solar sails. Uh, we're going to have a setup up here. I have done a little bit of preparation with some foundations. And we need to make a few things in order to get this done. So what do we need? We need EM rail ejectors. We have everything we need in this, this, and this tower. So these are easy to set up. Very easy to set up. And then we need some ray receivers, which will receive the rays from our uh, solar sails. So for that, we need the particle things, photon combiners. Excuse me, had to sneeze. These are pretty easy. Uh, it's just prisms and um, what are they called? Uh, circuit boards. So that's not a big problem. Then we also need to make solar sails, which again is the photon combiners together with graphene. So. It should be a relatively simple setup. It should be a relatively simple setup. So let's set up here uh, production. We'll make one, two, three, four, five, and six. These will be the EM rail ejectors. So let's copy that recipe. And we need processors, which we have here. Uh, let's see, what do we need of what? We need 20, 25, and 10. So I really want the steel and the gears on the inside. So let's do gears. Uh, let's come up and over. Uh, let's keep being up and over a little bit. So there we have gears, and then we need these guys, and we'll come up and over again. And we can actually just come to there. We can just come to there. Let's put the inserters on here. Uh, we'll do like that. And there we go. So that's the first two things. Then we need steel, which is here. So we can grab steel right here. And let's come up to there. I might change that. And come up here. And processors. Okay, so input, input, just input all of this, no 
Okay. We need so many processors, man. We're gonna need to increase our processor production a lot. Uh, so we have that. Then we need an output. Uh, we'll change that. So that. You go in there, come up there. Okay, and then we need a station here. A little bit of space. you will uh, have EM rail ejectors, not 10,000 of them, just uh, 100 is fine. And then we just need some power. And there we go. Should be producing EM rail ejectors. Yes, we are. Not that fast though, because we are missing items. Okay. But we are getting some. We have seven already. So that's all good. What do we need for the particle collider or photon combiners? We need prisms and circuit boards. Let's find a place where we can make that. Over here seems fine. Right here will work. Uh, I actually need some graphite, not just a graphite. So I can get some power. Okay, so we can fill in that little bit there, and we will plop down a thing. And we'll request circuit boards if I can find them and prisms and we will supply photon combiners do we have any we do we are not powered up though so power there and we'll say say 800 of each and local demand local demand uh, remote storage remote storage okay so more wonderful drones flying around and we need a production line. Are they made in... They're made in an assembler. Good. So... 
let's do that. Let's get some prisms out. Let's get some circuit boards out. Fit. It will fit anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, so that's six. That's another six. So how long do you take to make three seconds? So Twelve, well, nine would actually be one a second, but this is fine. How many do we need for the sails? We just need one. And for these guys, we need ten. Uh, I think this will be fine. So... Come up there, come up there. We will make an output, which goes around here. And we'll come out there. And we need Orders. And we'll be good once we power it up, anyway. Uh, I need to come a little bit further. This done. And there. Ah, come on. And output here. Okay, then we just need some power. Uh, we'll come out here. Oh, and some recipes, of course. Uh, photon combiner. Okay. So we are making photon combiners. Outstanding. Then we need to make solar sails, which is graphene and photon combiners. But we'll do that up around the north. So we could make them right here. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to have a tower here right in the middle. And I want some of you square 20 well now let's just set this up so this is the fun part right 
so power is not power. Person sphere. There we go. Wow, these guys are big. So how close can we get that close? Okay. An EM rail ejector. You have taken the first step to build the Dyson Sphere. Now you can use it to send solar okay. cells into space for forming the Dyson Swarm. Each EM rail ejector requires to set up orbit and supply with solar cells. Also, you can use copy and paste to set orbits. Okay. If you want a Dyson Swarm Orbit become more diversified, you can click the Dyson Sphere button in the lower left corner of the screen to open the Dyson Sphere panel. Make your customization however you want. Need a little bit more space. Hopefully we have enough foundations for this because I don't have more foundations than I have here. On me. Okay. There we go. So how many was this? This was three, six, eight. Now, uh, this will request uh, solar sails. Uh, I'll put the mat. Remote storage. Thousand. And let's just see how this works. So, can we actually? We can. So, what we can do. Fine. So what we'll do is send them around like this. Sucks a little bit. What's the closest it'll fit there? Uh, can we then get some out here? We can. Okay. So that means dismantle. Mantle. And come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Okay. And then we will feed it from here. And we'll set up some more. Let's set them up here. Okay. Go get some more. Oh, we don't need to go. But we need 
more. Uh, where are they there? Let's grab 30. Don't need 30, but I grabbed 30. Uh, Dyson Sphere. What? No tall build in the muscle rotation area. What? Why won't this last one go in? All the others were fine. Okay. And we will come here around. Like that. And then we need inserters. Sorters, not inserters, sorters. Okay. And here. So as soon as we get sales going, we will start spitting sails into orbit of the sun. Okie dokie. Almost there. There we go. And then we of course need some power. the moon losing power. That's okay. Oh man. I can't get anything in here. In that case, we'll do that. That powers them. And then we'll build out here. But that means there's no power for the. Damn it! You know what? What do we need to make these? We need some of those, we need some of those, which means we need carbon nanotubes, which we can't make in the replicator. Damn! Okay. Is there really? No way I can get one in here somewhere. Nope. So I'd have to pull out one. Which I suppose I could. I have 549 foundations left. 
I'll be surprised if that's enough. But that is something that we can make. Fourteen foundations left. Damn it! Made it just over halfway. All right. Well, we need some stone brick. Um, we have stone brick somewhere. Somewhere. That's graphite. Uh, where the heck is my stone set up? Ah, here. So let's grab. Let's say a thousand stone brick. Um, that can go away, and we can then make some foundations. All right, I'll uh, get these foundations made, and then I'll be back. Alrighty, so these are all set up, and we need to set. Uh, a swarm, so let's... Where is... Uh, I want to add an orbit. How do I do this? Uh, okay. So if we do... Forty-five. And okay. So if we have that, something like that. And then we want to add an orbit. Wait, one. What? Okay. Uh, show all layers. Okay, this is for the Dyson shell. This is for the Dyson. Okay. Uh, like that. Forty five degrees. Let's do do 180 exactly there. Create, and then we want to add another orbit. Uh, this one. How do I see its info? Okay, uh, orbit radius. I want it to be about the same as the other one. That seems right. 
and then I want it to be at uh, 145. And something like that. No. Something like that. Okay. Create. Alright. So we can tell the. Uh, how many do we have in total here? Uh, See, I can't see how many I have on the planet, well, right? Uh, no. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, I think, and eight. So that's 26. So we'll tell 13 of them to go on orbit two. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we'll do one. That's then ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. And then the rest of them need to be on the other orbit. On orbit three. Not that it matters yet, because we don't have solar sails yet. Uh, but it will once we do. That we need as well. Alright, is everyone set up? Everyone is set up. Good. Then... Just need to make some solar sails and some ray receivers. So the ray, ray receivers are not a big problem. Uh, we can grab some of the, these. Grab. Can I get exactly 80? I can. So that's that. Then we need the particle thingy. Uh, which we decided to make over here. Let's grab some of those. I don't remember how many I need. Uh, Ten, so that's fine. And then we need some silicon. Why don't we have any high purity silicon? 
Wow, we have used all our silicon. What the heck have we used all our silicon for? Huh. Let me guess. Find some high purity silicon somewhere and I'll be back. Right, so I got some high purity silicon and I've set up four raid receivers here. So that's ready to go. Now all we need is some solar sails and solar sails was graphene and particle things. So where do we want to make the solar sails? I think we want to make them up here somewhere. Let's, let's make them over here. So we'll have a interstellar logistics guy. Right. There. Ray receiver work mechanism. Uh, ah. Yeah, uh, so I can also store up energy in it to turn it into photons or something, but uh, what that means, I have no idea. And you will request uh, graphene and the photon combiner, and you will deliver solar sails. Uh, let's store up 2000 here. And a thousand of each. And do I have any? I have 30, that's fine for now. Okay. And then we just need a production line. And they take four seconds to make. So. But they make two. So if we run up here, and do four, six, eight. that'll work if our no all right you know what we will make them this way so now this is sitting right on the scene Now, it produces two every four seconds, so by doing eight machines, we're actually producing 16, so these two would produce one a second, two a second, three a second, four a second, so yeah. four a second is what we'll be producing. Which is hopefully enough, else we'll just have to extend. And graphene. And uh, photon combiners. 
there. We need some sorters. Did you hear that? I called them sorters. It's pretty impressive. And then in. Almost done. And there we go. Power. That'll do that. That'll do that. That'll do that. And we will say local demand, local demand. supply and some remote supply is fine. All right, let's just grab some of these. Because I want to fill this up. Okay. Oh, uh, it might help if we set a recipe. Solar sails. Okay, here comes the first product, the second product. And we have our first solar sails going out. And they are being sent up here. And coming out. Oh, just need a sun. And the sun is behind the gas giant, of course. Right. Yep, right behind the gas giant. Dang it. But it won't be for long. Come on. Come on. We want to see them shoot. Getting sales, you have 20 sales. You have 20 sales. You don't have any yet. Is the sun about to come out? I think it's about to come out. And hopefully these guys will start firing. At least some of them. It's coming. It's coming. There it is. There's the sun. Are you going to shoot? Someone? Anyone? We might need to come out a little bit more. Come on! I want to see you shoot! It's right there! Shoot, damn you! Maybe they can't hit the... Uh,
Maybe they can't hit the, or the thing. Yes, they're shooting. They're shooting. Look, they are shooting. Pew pew. That is so cool. Do they make a sound when they shoot? Nope. But we can see that there are some solar sails out there. They are shooting! Bloody marvelous! Look, there they are! Oh, and we're starting on the other ring as well. And we're shooting a lot of solar sails. And I mean a lot. It's awesome. Can't wait for it to be a full ring. See what it looks like. Right, they're starting to meet. Hopefully they don't collide and uh, go boom or something. Man, that is so cool. That is just so cool. I can't believe it. We are actually firing some of us. And we have quite a lot of solar sails on the belt, which is good to see. Prioritize this port input. Look at that. How much power are they generating? One point eight five, one point eight seven, one point nine. Not a whole lot. Is it different for each of them? No. It's the same. 2.1, 2.2. Requested power. So we're getting just a little bit of what we're actually requesting. But it's going up, which it should, of course, since we are putting more and more solar sails in orbit. I want to see it again. 
Ooh, we've almost closed the circle for one of them. Almost. And the other one is getting there too. Okay. This is so cool, man. <laughs> So cool. Alright, we're meeting up here again. I love it. How much power are we generating? 4.7 megawatts. Uh, I want to see you. Here we are. The amount of your solar sails has reached a certain scale, and they have formed a Dyson swarm around the star. You should be able to clearly see it right now. To receive such energy, you have built a ray receiver to absorb the transmission, yeah. where Dyson Swarm can generate power simultaneously. Every solar sail launched for a certain life cycle. If you want to maintain the Dyson Swarm, you have to continue on injecting the solar sails. And I'm doing that. So our production is going down right now, but this production is going up. And if we go out here, we have the first ring completed there. And the second one is almost there. So cool, man. It is so cool. Man, they're firing a lot. But we have... We have solar sails on the belts, so it's all good. Wow, this one in here is actually being... drained quite a lot. More sales coming all the time. We have more sales coming all the time, so that's good. So hopefully we're kinda sorta able to keep up. Doesn't look like it though. We'll see. We'll see, but I think it's so cool. And look at that. I can't get enough of it. Just can't get enough of it. Look at it, man. It's so cool. How much power are we generating with it? 8.7, 8.8. It just keeps going up. Continuous receiving. Continuously receiving rays will slowly increase the max output and ray receiving efficiency. Progress will drop rapidly if no ray is received. Okay. So 
So when we are behind the gas giant, we might not receive anything, but I think we will because, I mean, the Dyson ring is pretty big. Where is the gas giant? There. So we might still receive some. But what we can do now is also stick some of these ray receivers over on the other planet so that it will take advantage of the Dyson ring, uh, Dyson swarm. Man, it's cool. But we are way out of time, so uh, we'll have to end it here. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.